Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers, the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna, and Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the final edition of University of Akron Basketball with head coach John Gross for the 2017-18 season. We've got a lot to talk about today, taking a look back at the Western Michigan and Eastern Michigan games. But, Coach, before we talk about that, I think we owe uh, a lot of thanks to Bud Wentz at Wentz Financial Group. He's been our primary sponsor for the show all season long. There's no question. Obviously, uh, you know, Bud, uh, you know, obviously has invested a lot in our program. Um, and uh, we're very appreciative of yeah. him and very grateful uh, that he sponsors the show and allows us to do this and share Akron Zips basketball right. with everyone else uh, out there, you know, obviously not only in Northeast Ohio, but really, you know, nationally That's uh, right. because it's, it's a telecast. So we're you know, very thankful for the opportunity that he gives us. Of course, he also sponsored the $25,000 shot. Nobody won that this year. I'm going to ask you, does that go up to 50 next year or not? <laughs> you have to ask Bud that There one. you go. I, I, I don't know. I do want to thank some of the uh, Toledo fans I saw at the MAC tournament. Coach, I walked in. Two Toledo fans walked up to me and says, I watch Coach Gross's TV show every week in Toledo. So there you go. There you go. That's, <laughs> everybody's, everybody's watching it. And obviously, uh, it's great for our program to be able to share yeah you know, what's going on inside our program and what's happening week to week in season. And uh, so again, we're th very thankful for, uh, you know, the Wentz Financial Group yeah. and Bud's uh, contributions. You know, Coach, uh, it's the goal of every coach to have their team playing the best basketball late February and March. And I think you did that. You got a nice road win over Bowling Green, took uh, champion Buffalo right down to the final two or three minutes, beat your arch rival Kent, went up to Kalamazoo and beat Western and took uh, Eastern Michigan down to the final three or four minutes. So I think you accomplished your goal of getting playing their best basketball. We, we did, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, it's uh, it's not a perfect or exact right. formula every year. Each, with each team, it's different. But there's no question that, uh, you know, as sour as the one uh, the other night that ended our season, right. it's always that way. My wife reminded me of that. She said, you've never uh, liked the last game. No. You know, it's, it's uh, unless you're winning that last game, you know, it's it, if you invest so much as we do emotionally, mentally, physically, our players, our staff, our support staff, all of us that are involved, sure. you, Joe. Yep. You know, it's never uh, it's never easy, no. uh, and a lot of that's because of all the sacrifices that we all make and how important it is to us. But you're right. At the end of the day, when you look back at it objectively, over the last four or five weeks, for sure, yeah. we played the best that we've played all year, and it's certainly something yep. to build on. Of course, we'll talk about next year a little bit later in the program, but right now, Let's go back up to Kalamazoo, uh, Michigan, for one of the most uh, exciting games, I think, in University of Akron basketball history. Coach, it was something to behold. Highlights brought to you by Summa Health Systems. Akron is down 9 to nothing, 15 to nothing, 18 to nothing, 27 to 4, Coach, and you come back and win it. Yeah, I thought we showed a lot of grit and resiliency, obviously, uh, to come back and do that. And then really had, uh, as you know, Joe, at the end of the game, a seven-point lead with 33 seconds to go, gave the lead up right. uh, with some bad ball handling and decision-making, but then were able to make the last play that we needed to make to win the game. So, you know, I thought our grit and resiliency certainly came a long way throughout the year uh, and really started to develop and is going to have to be a staple of our program. Our guys know that moving forward as we pursue playing consistent championship-level basketball. There we saw Daniel Utomi hit a shot. There's DeVivier, but uh, Utomi ends up, I think, with uh, 26. Cotton adds 21. You cut it to 35-31 at the half. At that point, I thought momentum had shifted. You had a great chance to win the game. There's no question, Joe. I thought the 17 to nothing run yeah. there towards the end of the first half was the biggest part of the game for us in terms of making that type of comeback. It gave us, you know, gave us hope. Uh, put us in a situation where now all of a sudden it's a four-point game at the half and it's anybody's game. So our guys really battled back and made plays. A lot of them, in terms of the offensive, what we were able to get offensively were jump-started by our defense. As you know, we got a lot of live ball turnovers yeah. and got out, got some leak outs, got some run outs, and uh, that obviously sparked us during that 17 to nothing run. Talked about you, Tommy. He had one of the Mid-American Conference's best defensive players on him 
and uh, he didn't know how to defend him. I mean, he was taking jump shots, taking it to the basket. Great game by Daniel. No question. And Dan, as we've talked about a lot over the last two to three weeks, is a guy that's become a very versatile right. scorer, Joe. So if you put a bigger guy on him, obviously he can take him out away from the basket. Yeah. You put a smaller guy on him, and there you see Bryce Moore guarding him. And I have a lot of respect for Bryce Moore. He's a terrific defender. But Dan just shot it over him with his size. Yeah. So, you know, he really creates a dilemma and a mismatch problem for the opponent. Dan has also started to really contribute for us on the defensive end. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to continuing to grow Dan's game here in the offseason and make him an even better player. Uh, but the one thing I think that will help him certainly is he'll be moved back to his more right. natural positions uh, moving forward. Zips win it 79-78 to 78 to move up to uh, the MAC tournament up in Cleveland. Final question about that game, Coach. You've been coaching a long time. Ever been down 27-4 to four and came back to win a game? No. <laughs> no. That was uh, crazy. You know, it really was. But, again, give our kids credit for having some yeah. grit and resiliency and continuing to swing. And, you know, anything can happen, you know, this time of year. I've said that before. I mean, you know, you can play uh, – basketball through season one I call non-conference yeah. season two conference play and once you get into postseason tournament it's not the NBA playoffs so you have to play really well that night try to play as close to your capabilities as you can yep. lock in on the opponent and your goal is to try to be better than that team one point or more better than that yeah. team on that particular sure. night to get to the next line on the bracket you know and that's what makes March uh, so fun you know that's that's obviously why they call it March Madness exactly we talked about some of the big wins this season when we come back we'll take a look at some of the season highlights for University of Akron basketball so don't go away we're back right after this The difference with Once Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, a lot of highlights during the 2017-18 basketball season. Right now, let's take a look at those, and we'll come back and talk to Coach Gross. Obviously, we have a very, very unique team in that uh, our whole staff is new, our support staff is new. We've got a lot of newcomers. You have one guy, Jamon Ivey, who played in every game last year during the 2016-17 season. So for the most part, everything is new for everybody. And, you know, we're a work in progress. I do feel like we're getting better. And 
one, two, and book that. And the four point lead. Bearish, yeah. Count that. Took the high handoff from Javon Ivy. Ivy three puts it in. Coach, you watch those highlights and the way we played late in the year, you almost wish the season was still going on. Yeah, no question. Obviously, as you and I mentioned at the beginning of the show, you know, we felt like we started to really get traction in a lot of areas. Yeah. Our defense was able to get a lot better. Uh, guys individually improved. Collectively, I thought that we got better. And really, towards the end, the last month, our guys believed, and we did too as a staff, sure. that you know, in our league, we, we, we were not only we could be competitive night in and night out, we felt like we could oh, beat yeah. anybody any night that we right. played, you know, no matter where we played them in our league. And it took us a while to get to that point, you know. Obviously, uh, we tried to honor the process. I think that we did that. And in the meantime, while we did that and we improved basketball-wise, individually and collectively, I think most importantly, we really adhered to our principles of what's going to be our foundation, our ability to play with effort, to have great attitude, to have coachable guys on our team, guys that have more questions and answers and, and to have guys that want to play with some mental and physical toughness, the ability to deal with anything that gets thrown your way. Uh, we weren't perfect by any means the last month, but a lot better oh, yeah. than when we first started. So I feel good about that and obviously excited about moving forward. Well, the Zips, of course, went up to uh, Cleveland for the Mid-American Conference Tournament. They played the last game on the first day of the tournament against Eastern Michigan. We're going to come back and talk about that game right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others won't. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, after the big win over Western Michigan up at Kalamazoo, the Zips headed to Cleveland for the Mid-American Conference Tournament, and they were going in against Eastern Michigan. And Coach, that 2-3 zone is tough, but you played them so well in that oh, first half, up by nine, I, I think. I thought the first 25 to 30 minutes the best we played yeah. all year at both ends at the yeah. same time because right. we had held them to 28 points at that point. Right. And uh, offensively, from an efficiency standpoint, you know when you play against them, the possessions are going to be lower. So even though it's, it's not a, uh, a high-scoring game, we were very efficient. First half, I mean, we had a 115 what we, uh, OER, we call an OER, and, uh, and that's winning basketball at a really high level. I thought we took good care of the ball for the yeah. most part. We wanted to play with around 12. We were sitting on six turnovers at halftime. We had shot it well. We had defended well. And then we came out in the second half and continued that yeah. for really eight or nine minutes. Right. And then obviously our live ball turnovers you know, really infused and injected life into their team. And um, I didn't think we had the right disposition mentally down the stretch. Great lesson and uh, learning tool for our guys as we move forward and build our program. And I thought uh, mentally and physically we needed to be tougher than we were during the last 10 to 12 minutes, you know, as they continued to land blows. You know, I didn't necessarily like our response yeah. um, on the court, in huddles. You could tell 
Um, you certainly can't at that point blame it on youthfulness because by that point a lot yeah. of the young guys have been playing all year. So in, we, yeah. we just got we had, we needed to play better the last ten to twelve minutes and uh, you know give Eastern Michigan credit they hung in there a lot like we did at Western sure. uh, a few days earlier and uh, and they had won seven or eight in a row for a reason you know I think that was their seventh win in a it row was. when they when they finished it off so they had a great year and obviously we were playing a very good basketball team. Well, let's go back up to Cleveland, the Q, and it is a game between Akron and Eastern Michigan. It will be the final game of the season for the Zips, and boy, they left it all on the floor against the Eagles. Okay, right here we get a live ball turnover ourselves, and I thought that really jump-started us early and got us off to a terrific yeah. start, Joe, um, getting some opportunities to see the ball go through the basket in primary break situations where it was two-on-ones, three-on-twos, a couple leak-outs. And then obviously we executed well against the zone. Felt like we got what we want, what we needed to get. Played very unselfishly. We were good in transition. And then defensively, I thought that was the biggest difference. You know, to hold them to 28 points the first 28 yeah. minutes of the game was just a tremendous uh, feat for our guys. Unfortunately, when you start turning it over, as we mentioned earlier, live ball turnovers are hard to guard. I always tell them you can't defend one on nothings, two exactly. on ones very well. You know, that's why it's so important to take good care of the basketball because that affects the defensive end. One thing I noticed, Coach, that 2-3 zone, they extend it so far out, and they're so big, it's hard to get uh, where you want to go sometimes. They, they do, and obviously as we continue to have different guys on the floor, you know, as our, our, our freshman bigs get better, as we get E-man back, as Dang Reak becomes eligible, now all of a sudden you've got something at the basket along right. the baseline, exactly. and it makes it a little higher for them, harder for them, excuse me, to push up as that high, as high as they did, Joe. But you're exactly right. Their wings were very high in the zone. Uh, we kind of knew that going into the game. Thought we attacked it really, really well uh, in half court situations. Then they put that two two one. Uh full court press on in the second half. They did, and that forced some live ball turnovers. I thought we made some really poor decisions uh, taking care of the basketball. We ended up with 15 turnovers. Uh, we had played with six in the first half, and we probably needed to play with about five or six more yeah. in the second half to win the game. You know, 15's too many uh, in a lower possession game. When you're playing a team that plays all zone, there's going to be lower possessions, and we, at the end of the day, those live ball turnovers really cost us. Daniel Utomi led with 14, DeVivier with 13, Parrish with 13. But again, Utomi, hard to guard uh, by Eastern Michigan. That's the final score. And, uh, well, I'd like to see us win that one go into Friday night because uh, you were playing so well and so much confidence. Yeah, no question. It's As I mentioned earlier, it's difficult whenever that last one happens exactly. unless you win that last one, you know. So, But you're, no question, as well as we played the first 30 minutes, as well as we played the last month, you know, I thought we got everything out of our group. You know, I, I owe a lot of credit. I've got a great staff. You do. And a good support staff and our players. You know, those guys really, during the different uh, times during the season where it got tough, you know, didn't crack and kept going and kept pushing and got to the end of the year where we played our best basketball. But you're right. Obviously, we'd have loved to have an opportunity to play on semifinal Friday. Sure. But it just didn't happen, and we've got to use that as motivation moving forward as we head into year two. Now it's time for Whose Stock is Rising, brought to you all season long by Wentz Financial Group. And this is a guy whose uh, stock has been rising all season long. Daniel Utomi now emerges, I think, beginning next year as one of the premier players in this league. There's no question. He played like that the last month. Um, he's done a great job of uh, multiple areas, body, his game offensively, his attention to detail defensively. Uh, he's much more vocal. Um, I think he's ready to take the next step and become a leader, not only by example, which he's done a lot, Joe, but I think vocally as well. And I think he's certainly developed into one of the better players uh, in our league. He's in that conversation. He's earned that. And uh, we look forward to continuing to work with him because I think this offseason we can make him better in, in some other areas and continue to grow and enhance uh, his game, as well as some of the other players, obviously, that we'll be working with very closely here spring, summer, and fall. You know, the one thing I noticed about Daniel after I hadn't seen him in a while, how much his body had changed and that jug of water he carried around a lot. Uh, he yeah. really was into uh, getting uh, really well. He did. He bought into hydration, yeah. nutrition, weightlifting, all the little things yep. that matter. You know, everyone says they want to be great, but very few guys are willing yeah. to sacrifice and do what it takes to become the very best that they can be. Daniel did that and was a great example for the other guys on our team. Yep. We're going to come back and name our Player of the Week right after this.
Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. It takes Sal's heating and cooling to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at salsheatcool.com. Our Player of the Week, as he's been our Player of the Week many times this season, is senior Malcolm DeVivier and coach uh, only one year with the Zips. But what a great example he was of uh, playing hard and really being a team leader all year long. Great that he chose us. And, uh, you know, I'm so thrilled to have him and have an opportunity to coach him for the year. Obviously, he's a really good player. But the thing that I think uh, he leaves with, as he said to the guys in the locker room the other day, like, I wouldn't do it any differently, um, you know, he loved his experience, yeah. and he grew a lot, Joe, as a person, uh, as a student, and as a basketball player in, in the year he was with us, really less than a year, in dramatic fashion yeah. in all areas. And uh, he knows that, we know that, and uh, you know that transformation is what you want when a kid goes to college. You know, you, I certainly would want that for my own son. You know, you hope that they get involved in an experience with a group of people that changes and makes them better. And uh, Malcolm did that, and. Um, you know, we're glad that we had the opportunity to coach him over the, over the course of one season. We're going to keep Malcolm right in the middle of things right now because he's going to be on the hot seat brought to you each week by Bryant Heating and Cooling. Who is your celebrity crush? Rihanna. Who is the biggest trash talker on the team? Me. Hardest workout activity? Sprints. Water park or amusement park? Water park. Would you rather have Bugs Bunny or Air Bud off the bench? Bugs Bunny. Favorite sport drink flavor? Blue. In your opinion, who is the GOAT? Michael Jordan. Who would win an arm wrestling competition on the team? Oh, me. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Do you have a pre-game ritual? Um, no. Favorite pizza topping? Chicken. Soda or pop? Pop. Favorite spot on campus? Um, student Union. Ketchup, mustard, or onion? Ketchup. Favorite post-game meal? Chicken Alfredo. Well, Malcolm DeVillier, outstanding player. We're going to take a break. Malcolm will not be back next year, but we're going to come back and talk to Coach Gross about who will be back and about the next season with the Zips. So don't go away. I trust them. I've trusted them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, preparation for the 2018-19 season has already begun, Coach, and what's it look like next year? Well, we're excited, obviously, to build on uh, the foundation that we've laid here in year one. You know, obviously, we'll, we'll be a completely different team from the standpoint. We have some guys returning, but we're adding the three transfers that were sitting out, right. uh, React, Jackson, and Hester. We've added Lapeer Tolls. You know, we still will add, um, you know, uh, through, some, through recruiting here this spring. So it, it'll be different, but the foundation's been laid. I think that's what's the most exciting. We should be a lot older and more experienced 
And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to continuing to move that needle forward in year two. And I think we have some nice trips planned for the Zips and fans. We'll talk about that uh, later. But, Coach, it's been great working with you all season long. I'm looking forward to the future, and I know it's going to be a good one. Same here, Joe. Thank you for everything. There you go. Thanks again to Bud Wentz for being our sponsor all season long. My name is Joe Dunn. We'll be back next year with more Zip basketball. And always remember, go Zips. Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryan Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.